So, um, my purpose is double, is to inform uh, the members of the workshop here uh, on our objectives, of the objectives of the uh, cost action, because uh, there are several here, uh, many people who not, don't know, and uh, it is normal that they don't know what we uh, have built up in this cost action. And uh, secondly, to inform the members, uh, the partners, uh, the members of uh, the cost action on uh, the progress uh, of our cost action since we met in uh, Heidelberg in November <coughs> 11 uh, for our uh, uh, first uh, uh, management uh, committee. Uh, we are in the first year of, the man of uh, our cost action uh, and uh, uh, already in these uh, uh, first uh, months or in the second half of the, second of the first year we uh, have some realization, some uh, concrete uh, plans uh, on which I would uh, um, focus your, your attention. Uh, uh, it is clear also, um, it must be clear also that uh, these, uh, uh, and th these words uh, are not in the PowerPoint uh, because they are so implicit to us that, uh, that uh, <laughs> it is probably not necessary to uh, write them down, but what is important for uh, for uh, all people who have started this cost action is uh, to realize an integration, not only an integration of databases, but in, 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 in the future uh, it is necessary to begin to integrate, but uh, it is not only this, the integration which is uh, the main focus in fact of the cost action, but also on the other side to find out uh, the way to help the scientific community and the partners of cost action and other part and other members of the medieval uh, scientific uh, community to implement the databases which is not intended to, to uh, which uh, cannot be done with uh, cost uh, actions cost actions give um, have money only to uh, not to implement uh, databases but to implement a network and this is uh, the one, one side of the future uh, we have to realize and we have to think on in the next uh, in the next time in the next day in the next years uh, this is the very important issue and the other important issue is also to be clear that uh, we have not only uh, to do with integration of databases uh, this is a very important first step, but the second step will be also to help uh, the scientific community to think on how uh, to use our databases with new questions, uh, with new method of questions of, uh, on, of our databases. I say, I say these in very simple words. There are more technical words which can be used from ontologies and so on, but uh, uh, you understand what what I what I think, uh, but uh, 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 oh, both uh, both uh, uh, these large uh, scopes objectives cannot be achieved without the first step, which is uh, uh, medioevo europeo in in uh, the format which which we have now uh, with the possibility. The, in, in the technological integration of, uh, uh, of databases. So, come si fa? I am a Mac man. Mac man. Uh, we started. Uh, uh, the concept of cost action medio europeo has been established in two meetings, uh, as I already remembered yesterday briefly in uh, 2000, 
uh, in fact, it was 2008 and 2009, and not, not 2009, 2010, but this is not uh, very important, uh, at uh, the Certosa del Galuzzo here in Florence, uh, and uh, which uh, on, in, in these two very important meetings, in, in the sense that uh, uh, the institutes uh, 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 were particularly uh, attended these uh, meetings, uh, uh, very important institutes, institutions, and institutes uh, for medieval studies, which work since uh, uh, many of them, uh, since many decades, on medieval studies to make it to realize a consensus on uh, the necessity of uh, begin to uh, think, uh, think uh, to uh, think on possible possible dialogue and possible integrations and. and this was, this was the starting point and I would uh, uh, profit here to uh, uh, thank uh, all the uh, representatives of, of these institutes and here uh, Ashte is also here present uh, because uh, it was uh, in my eyes a very good uh, collaboration and the, the first time probably in, among these, uh, between these uh, big uh, and, and also old institutions in order to, to collaborate on technological level. Uh, um, as we started, as we submitted the, uh, the, co the request for a uh, cost action in 2010, uh, 13 countries uh, had, uh, were, were the partners and uh, has signed this submission. And uh, uh, as we began uh, the cost action, we were uh, 16 and we are now uh, 22, uh, so that uh, we can now more or less he, uh, say that uh, um, practically most uh, European uh, uh, countries uh, are now represented in this uh, cost action uh, from uh, north to south, uh, from east to uh, uh, western uh, part of Europe. Uh, the main objective of the action has, was, has been uh, described, as you see here in uh, these sentences, uh, the main objective, objective of the action is to increase accessibility to and integration of medieval research results and tools through improved technological instrument and skills. This will not only upgrade quality and efficiency of research in this field through the use of advanced ICT, but will also ensure increased employment potential for early stage researchers. This is the, the, the quite general uh, description of our purpose, but in any case, as you know, we have to go to details. Uh, at the end, uh, at the end of the, and this is one of the most important concrete uh, objective and purpose of our cost section is to realize, to promote the creation of a virtual center for medieval studies, uh, making possible an integrated accessibility between databases uh, using improved technological instrument and uh, skills. Uh, the organization of the uh, cost action, we have a management committee as all cost actions have uh, <clears throat> and have, must have and uh, you see here the, uh, the name of the persons uh, who, uh, the chair, the vice chair and then uh, the uh, members of the management committee belonging to the 22 uh, uh, countries uh, who uh, participate in our uh, cost action. I will not, uh, uh, you can read the names 
uh, I have not to spell them. <coughs> Outside Europe, you have also the participation of Israel. Since the beginning, uh, since the beginning, also in the submission, uh, we have uh, organized. Uh, the, uh, we have foreseen uh, the organization foresees four uh, working groups, uh, four working groups, uh, which uh, are uh, whose chair you know you see the names here. Uh, the first uh, working group. Uh, I have to. I have to remember that this is implicit and uh, you know that, that uh, of course already in one sense or another that we have to do here not with the entire uh, medieval uh, documentation uh, as you know there are two big parts of uh, uh, even, even more than two because there is also the, the archaeological, archaeological side that uh, if we uh, uh, limit our um, view on uh, uh, written documents, there are two uh, big uh, sections uh, in the medieval uh, um, documentation, uh, the textual, literary, if you can say more than textual, literary uh, documentation, and the, uh, the documents in the sense of, uh, of uh, which are more uh, more in archives than in libraries. It is very difficult to separate, and we have not to separate that. But in fact, in, in, fact, in, the, in, in our academic and in our research uh, um, life, uh, there is a separation between archives and libraries, and between uh, 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 documents uh, as uh, in the traditional sense of the world and uh, manuscripts containing uh, uh, texts, uh, literary texts, but uh, uh, I repeat, there is no, uh, there is no systematic, uh, and there are many interactions. But in fact, we, uh, the, the, uh, the, the partners of our cost action represent more the literary uh, hi, uh, part of uh, the literary side of medieval medieval documentation. Uh, it is a, a problem of uh, also of, uh, of organization of energy and so on. We, it is not uh, possible to uh, to do all uh, uh, um, it is uh, we have to go step by step. In any case, we have chosen this this direction, and uh, this has an influence on uh, the organization and on the content of our working group, the working group one uh, has to do, has to work with uh, uh, authors and texts, authors in relation with texts, not the text in itself, but the authors <laughs> and works uh, as uh, repertoires, authority lists, bibliographies. Um, and the second working group uh, oh, this is um, uh, the, the objectives of uh, Area 1, of Working Group 1, uh, to uh, elaborate common standards of interrogation of bibliography, da bibliography databases relative to medieval studies, best practices on bibliographical databases, common norms of, for authority lists of medieval authors in various European cultures, a joint interrogation of large repertoires and medieval authors, of medieval authors and works. Uh, the second uh, working group, uh, which is uh, strongly connected with this workshop, uh, uh, as, um, the area uh, is manuscripts and textual tradition uh, with uh, our um, Chair Professor Driscoll, which, 
who is here present. And you see here the name of the members of uh, uh, this uh, working group two. Working group two, uh, the main objectives are to develop common standards in order to interrogate and relate information on medieval manuscripts to texts from various, various medieval European cultures, promote the develop, development of databases on textual traditions, testing research of information on manuscripts that have been or will be digitalized, uh, testing interaction modes necessary for data uh, circularity. This is the third working group has to, to do with textual corpora uh, uh, textual corpora including uh, the medieval uh, uh, dictionaries, the modern uh, dictionaries on medieval uh, languages as Latin and those of, of course the vernacular uh, languages uh, and uh, also the textual corpora in general. This is uh, also a, a very important uh, working group with chair is Thomas Kettler, uh, who has organized the first management committee in Heidelberg. The main objectives are analysis of existing online medieval dictionaries, of existing relationships between corpora and online dictionaries, of possibilities of, for interaction among parallel linguistic traditions, Verification of feasibility of linguistic analysis, development of common standards, development of and adaptation of some semantic data method to the analysis of corpora. And the force, the force uh, which uh, is a sort of, uh, of epilogue <laughs> of, the, of the first three uh, working groups, who as is to design this virtual uh, center for medieval studies and it is uh, the chair of working group four is Professor Ore of the University of Oslo. And you have here the objective of this uh, VCMS will be an online collaborator tool permitting an international team of researchers to dialogue upload and integrate information, create online critical editions, and so on. So we have, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, we have had the first management committee uh, in uh, Heidelberg in May. Uh, no, uh, before starting, excuse me, before starting uh, our cost action, we had a presentation and a very interesting discussion but it was an informal uh, presentation and an informal uh, discussions in Heidelberg, uh, in Heidelberg in May 2011. Uh, we had the possibility to, uh, to have the first contact of uh, uh, very important uh, databases of uh, the area, German particularly in Germany and not only, but particularly in Germany at that time, but it was an informal uh, uh, first uh, meeting. The, the first official meeting was in Heidelberg 2 uh, in November, uh, beginning of November, and I must say it was important for us because we uh, had, had the, for the first time the possibility uh, to, uh, to have a, a general common discussions on the general scopes and uh, also uh, to begin with uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, more concrete discussions in uh, the different working groups and also in general, in general assembly of uh, the management committee and uh, it was a, a, good, a good meeting uh, to uh, which uh, with, we, we started our action uh, with uh, a strong commitment to, uh, to go on, uh, which is uh, important. And 
at that stage to have a, a strong commitment than must what have now to follow our uh, concrete realizations and also concrete uh, on, on the level of theory but also on the level of realization. This was also the first, uh, this was, uh, the first uh, management committee. Uh, the second uh, uh, important um, um, event uh, in our cost action is the actual, uh, the actual uh, uh, workshop uh, which will be accompanied by uh, a meeting of the working group two which will take place in these in these uh, days and also by a meeting of the steering group uh, uh, we will have uh, on uh, tomorrow morning or tomorrow in the middle of the day uh, the cost action has also the possibility to finance uh, training schools uh, for younger uh, researchers who have to familiarize, familiarize with uh, uh, technological resources in connection with databases, with medieval databases of course, and the first training school uh, will be uh, take place soon in, uh, the, in the end of April at, at the Warburg Institute, organized by one of the members, by two members of the management committee, Charles Burnett and Peter Stokes, and uh, there were uh, more than 90 uh, candidates uh, for only uh, 11 or 12 uh, places, and uh, it was a difficult selection, I must say. Which uh, uh, as all selections are, um, are selections. Um, this is the program of the training school. I uh, can uh, add an information that the um, next uh, training school in the second uh, budget year has been already uh, accepted by the management committee in Heidelberg and will take place in Florence, organized by uh, the SISMEN around the biographical databases which are here at the Certosa in Florence. Uh, each working group has uh, elaborated in Heidelberg a memorandum of understanding uh, which, will, which, which constitutes the basis of our of the different discussions and uh, words. I will not now enter in all uh, details. It, uh, uh, this memor memorandum of understanding, in, in a certain sense, uh, reflects uh, with more details the general scope, uh, general objective I already uh, presented uh, to you uh, before. And, uh, uh, important thing to, to, uh, to realize now is that uh, these memoirs of understanding uh, go in more details and uh, because of the, the, uh, what we have to, to do is uh, to, uh, to uh, be um, as concrete as possible in our, uh, after, after our reflections to come to uh, very concrete realizations in common standards and in a technological dialogue, but um, I will not now uh, take too much your time. Uh, we have, we will have the possibility, in particularly what uh, working group two uh, in our in these two days to come to uh, these uh, informations. Working group two. Uh, 
construí. Bonjour. Uh, I must say that uh, uh, two weeks ago we were in, I was in Munich for a presentation of, uh, of cost action in uh, there where many German uh, databases have been presented at I and uh, um, er, um, it, it was was I uh, was very interesting to hear, to hear that from the group who work on uh, uh, medieval uh, dictionaries uh, the consensus is also the real, first realizations of uh, integration uh, there are already first uh, important results and the movement has been, uh, has been now, uh, the train has started, I must say, and uh, this was a very encouraging information. Uh, so this is the, in detail the, uh, the objectives of working three, uh, uh, which at a later stage, and this is also uh, very important, possibilities of creating interfaces between textual corpora and reading tools on the one hand, and etc. And bibliographies, manuscripts, inventories, and so on. We will have in Compostela in the next uh, management committee already uh, sure first uh, indication. And we can now go in a little faster to the fourth uh, working group, which is uh, very important to this for, uh, uh, cost action, the design of virtual centers of a virtual center for medieval studies, uh, design tools with search capabilities, as well as develop standards, tutorials, and other digital resources. These are the ideas. Plans is a survey of current best practice standards. Feasibility studies of standards, information architecture and technologies for database and data interchange, interchange. Address the problem of digital long-term persistence. Manage some uh, administrative tasks. And uh, the contacts which uh, uh, Professor Ore with uh, his group uh, is uh, to build up uh, and uh, he, with uh, the most important uh, active actors in these, in these fields. So, not all details I have to present here now. And, uh, we go on to, in order to say that uh, we have already in the last, as I said before, in the last months and those in the last weeks and those who yesterday morning, uh, we go on with uh, uh, concrete realizations and uh, we have here some, uh, some uh, not, not exhaustive list of uh, of databases which, with which, which can, uh, which have already, which responsible have already begun uh, to, uh, to uh, think on possible integration with Tron North from Professor Simek with Mirabile and uh, we will have in uh, uh, Gaon at the next, uh, uh, at the end of uh, May, uh, um, meeting uh, in order to uh, discuss the technical, uh, technical and technological uh, problems in order to uh, combine, to put in di dialogue uh, the uh, repertoire, uh, the, no uh, the new podcast uh, which is uh, elaborating by the Bavarian Academy in Munich or, and the databases of narrative uh, sources 
of uh, Belgium, manufactured Belgium and uh, Netherlands and so on, which is uh, very uh, uh, already very large uh, and is elaborated by Professor De Ploage, which is a member of uh, the management committee, and uh, with uh, uh, repertoire of Karma and uh, uh, Professor De Ploage is already in contact with uh, the IRHT and uh, um, I hope that also IRHT can join uh, this meeting in Gaza so that uh, we could have already a very important connection, I use uh, very simple words, uh, in, uh, on, on, the, on one very important field of textual traditions, uh, particularly in connection with the narrative the sources of uh, the Middle Ages, in particular, in particular with the, uh, the German Empire and uh, um, uh, Belgium, Netherlands and so on, and uh, the general uh, repertoire of Karma and the uh, repertoires of the uh, Ira State. This will be, I hope, at the end of May, we will know more on that, but we have already many contacts and also in Munich we spoke about, uh, spoke about uh, Professor De Ploage was also there, and so that I, can, I am confident that we will uh, go on. Another very important realization of the last weeks is, and we, you heard already on that yesterday, in another um, 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 indirectly, uh, is the fact that uh, Professor Philippe Parr of Namur had elaborated a very big, a very quantitative, Im important database on a geographical, uh, on in the geographical field. And uh, uh, Yerashte and Sismel are now, uh, with the help of uh, our, te our technicians, and I would like to, uh, to uh, thank uh, our Emiliano and also uh, the responsible of the Yerashte, who will speak tomorrow on that, so I will be very briefly, very brief now, but uh, I will to remember or indicate that this is another, another kind of uh, concrete realization. Uh, we have also, uh, between uh, Mirabile and the uh, University of Trento, uh, also a connection on uh, a database on the Padre della Chiesa. And then, as you heard yesterday, the train uh, search engine, and we will also very, be very brief now because we have a uh, all information yesterday, but this is also a real, realization uh, in connection with the general uh, cost action of our cost action scope to make to elaborate search engines which are transversal. And you have seen that, uh, and also the collaboration of uh, with uh, IRHT, which is uh, very important because of the quantity of the. Uh, material of the manuscripts which are which which are in uh, uh, medium uh, in the medium databases of data, database of Irashte. You have seen how much material now, how many information on uh, uh, more than 100,000 manuscripts and so on. And it is also the beginning. Beginning, I am sure that in two or three years. We will, uh, this, the progress will be exponential as if we think what, where we were, uh, where we all together in, in many, in many sense of the world, uh, were two or three years ago. So uh, this is a field in which uh, the, the progress will be very in, in, in uh, exponential. Uh, so I already uh, spoke on uh, the progress of the dictionaries of medieval Latin. I will also say that we will have, there will be in Zurich in March and then other in May, uh, and particularly which, which will be very interesting that uh, with the participation of uh, some technicians, and very young uh, scholars uh, um, uh, from from uh, Nouveau du Cage, which uh, we, with uh, 
uh, will uh, go to Zurich with Professor Cardelle and work on, on uh, uh, very advanced uh, technological uh, uh, tools in the field of medieval, medieval Latin and this is also a very important uh, field of collaboration. Uh, there will be also, as, as, I, as I already mentioned, uh, the, the many, uh, fortunately, many countries of Eastern Europe are uh, connected with our cost, uh, cost action. And uh, in May, in May uh, of this year, there will be a um, workshop which is uh, very well organizing uh, now from Professor Nikolova uh, uh, on uh, um, the same problems of cost action, but. Uh, uh, focus on Slavonic, uh, Slavonic manuscripts, uh, texts and manuscripts, and uh, this uh, uh, will be, we will hear, of course, in Compostela on more on the results, but uh, as I know from uh, the exchanges in uh, all these weeks, uh, I think that uh, the uh, workshop is uh, well organized, well organized, and we will be very interesting uh, in a year area where uh, there are uh, of course many problems as you know. Uh, so um, I have already spoken on uh, the working uh, group one meeting uh, which will take place in Ghent or in Ghent uh, in uh, 20 uh, at May 21 and I go on, and the next uh, management committee, we, we, which we uh, in, uh, will begin now to organize uh, in the next uh, in the meeting of the steering group of tomorrow and uh, in the next months, and this will be a, a, an important, uh, of course, an important event, probably the most important event in, after uh, Heidelberg, because all the partners will be. Uh, present and present the results of their work and, and so on. This will, this will be in November uh, 20, uh, in November uh, 11. And so I have only to thank for your patience.